Hello and welcome to this WordPress tutorial on Gravity Forms and how to change the from email address. Now why would you even need to mess with the from email address? Well just like any other email out there you get in, in everyday use, you're going to receive an email and there's going to be a from email address, right? Well that's how contact forms work. Same exact way. They've got to have a from address. Uh, so that you can receive the email notification and it is extremely advisable uh, to have the from email address be different from where you send the email to for your contact form so if I send these contact form entries to uh, info at catalystdesignservices.com I am going to want the from email address come from something else so maybe contact form at catalystdesignservices.com one hugely important thing that I will mention about the from address is you definitely want it to be a legitimate email address. Don't make something up. Uh, make sure you know it's something that uh, you uh, you are able to receive that your email server is not going to block. That's the reason. That's the whole reason we've got to essentially uh, get the from email address to um, to uh, basically be changed into something that will be recognizable and trusted so that we receive our emails otherwise there's a possibility your email server could block it could throw it to spam etc etc and uh, that's why we want to do it so let me backtrack because I kind of went ahead a little bit uh, if you're under forms just simply go under settings under the contact form you want to manipulate and uh, select uh, notifications there once you're in notifications find the notification and you may need to do this multiple times if you've got multiple notifications set up and click on that in this instance we got one and you'll see that your from email address is here. Now you can set it up to be whatever the uh, user's email address is. I would strongly advise you against doing that, and I'll tell you why. A lot of times they'll misspell their email address. Uh, sometimes your email server can reject that email address for one reason or another. It it, it just on a, it's just a randomized kind of um, reason. There's just really no reason why. So that's why it's great and much more simplistic to just simply put a trusted email from address. So that's where you would enter right here. So I would enter, you know, my email address I know that's going to de most likely be received by me and, uh, you know, different from the send to. And then once you got it, just update it and you're done. That's as simple as that. So I hope that this email was informative for you. Please leave a comment or give me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next uh, WordPress to screencast.